environment or let's go to camera so to kind of help you set up your composition overlays you can just go to composition overlays here and set grid so now you can kind of line everything up the way you like it and try to get that um that nice composition that nice perspective that you're looking for and um you can use that with uh this composition overlays option here you can change the columns rows i did change it at five because originally it was three just to kind of show you what it looks like but i changed mine to five just kind of helped me uh with my composition all right so let's go ahead and start setting up some of these things in our scene uh, so right here, I did keep it at HDRI and Skydome, but our um, HDRI is at noon clear zero one. I did change that. So let's see if we can find one that we're looking for. So I'm go to library and I'm gonna type in the search bar, I believe. The one that we're looking for. Let's see, okay. L O Okay. It was a weird name that I used. Let's see. Let's see if I can find it. It was outdoor. It started with a K. Here we are. So I use this HDRI here. So we're just gonna drag and drop onto our scene here. So it's loading, doing its thing. All right, so as you can see, we do have our new HDRI applied to our scene. And I'm gonna close out. Let me go back to my camera and take off the grid. Now that we have our composition set, click none. Okay. So let's go back to environment. So I have HDRI, my sky dome set, and I have my new HDRI selected. So now we're going to go and look at our other options here. We have intensity, rotation. Right now the intensity is set to one. I believe that that's fine for now. You can always adjust that intensity um, high or low, however you want. Just 